Yo, welcome back to another video. Today we are in the Open Crate League and let's see what team we're going to be running with. So, we're going to try out this team featuring the Giratina paired with the uh, Tentacruel and the Clefable. Um, pretty decent lead here as they're running the Poison Sting fast move, so we're going to be able to resist their fast moves here. Um, we're going to be able to throw this Shadow Ball. They are pretty tanky as well, so they decided to let it go. Um, we don't know what moveset they're running, but let's see if they're running the Earthquake. They do, in fact, are running the Earthquake version. And now we have the decision to make, are we going to invest shields here or we're going to allow this to go through? They end up throwing the Sludge Bomb bait, so they are able to get a shield from us. And let's see if we can get a shield back by going for this um, Ominous Wind. No um, shield goes through right there. Here we're going to allow, or we're going to shield here to keep this Giratina because they haven't decided to switch out. So we think that this Giratina is going to be pretty decent. And in fact, that is true. Ends up being the Medicham in the back. Here we're going to throw this Ominous Wind. We finally get the shield, and now we're going to build up again and throw another Ominous Wind. Let's see if we can get the Slash Shield for some um, decent damage. Our opponent here does end up throwing the move on CAP Tie, so they are going to be able to get this Ice Punch off. Now we have a decision to make we're going to go into our cliff able to get a lot of farm probably they're going to be able to throw a move because we have no shields ends up being the ice punch okay so probably running dynamic punch and ice punch at this point so this is a great opportunity for us to farm down it looks like another ice punch goes through okay and now we have the double fighters in the back um uh, poly lurking in the back here and now we're going to save that energy and then we're going to switch into our tentacruel and the crew here is going to be able to resist all the moves from the polyrad. A skull does decide to um, do some uh, resisted damage, but for a resisted amount, that is a decent amount of damage. Here, we're going to force out some more energy. This has got to be a skull. Okay, ends up being the icy wind. It does take us out, and because they were debuffed from our acid spray, we're going to try to farm down, and that's exactly what we're going to do. And they realize that that. Um, Medicham is host because we already at a moon blast. So GG's to our opponent. On to the next game. Got the uh, Giratina versus this Bastiodon. Okay, this is exactly where we want to see it. Definitely don't want this on the Clefable. Although the Clefable could fight back with some uh, meter matches, but uh, we'd rather have this uh, matchup right here. First, Shadow Ball goes through. They decide to let it go. Pretty tanky. Um, unfortunately, Giratina not so tanky itself. So we do have to invest the shield right here. Um, our opponent does uh, start building up more. We're going to throw another Shadow Ball right here. The Shadow Ball does get shielded because it would potentially get them pretty low. And then we're just going to double shield here because we are anticipating the the fast move pressure team with potential Wigglytuff in the back or even Victory Bell. So we're just going to try to win this lead here. We do get the shield from our opponent. And then our opponent is going to have to tank this Ominous Wind. We do get the boost, and that allows us to simultaneous KO this Bastiodon. So now it comes down to the decision. Are we going to go into the Wig or Clefable? We do decide to go with the Clefable, and they do have the Victory Bell. This Meteor Mash does get reached first, so good damage right there. We're going to snipe their energy and switch into our Tentacruel, and there's the Wigglytuff right there lurking in the back. So GG's to our opponent. We got kind of lucky with the uh, boost on the Giratina, able to take down that Bastidon. But um, maybe maybe we still would have been okay because the Clefable would have been able to uh, do some significant damage or get the last shield. Okay, so here we got the Charge Bug versus this Giratina. They decided to go for the X-Scissor because all their moves are resistant. Um, here we're going to throw this Ominous Wind. We do get the shield from our opponent, which is fantastic. But you can see, even though these X's are resisted, they have already gotten us into the um, yellow. And that's going to apply a lot of pressure to us. So we're going to throw another Ominous Wind here, try to get the second shield. No second shield, but at this point, um, we're going to potentially just try to farm down. One shield farm down, we'll be able to win this lead here. And let's see what they bring in. Um, ends up being the Reggie still, so Reggie still is going to have to somehow get through this ghost type. We are going to throw the first Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball does um, get get a lot of neutral damage. Another um, shield goes down with the Ominous Wind, so now they're down shields. However, we're kind of in a bad situation as we're going to have to sacrifice maybe one of these. We're going to let, let go of this Tentacruel. Ends up being the Zap Cannon. We do survive it, but it does so much damage that thing is pretty much done. Here we're going to get to a, a meter mash right here to try to take out this Reggie. It does not take out the Reggie. 
So we're gonna have to invest the shield here. And if we do get the debuff, we are potentially gonna have to use our tentacle. But unfortunately, it ends up being the wish cache. Wish cache pretty solid against our backline here. One skull goes through. Doesn't look like we got the debuff, so we are gonna be able to get to this moon blast. Trying to trying to get out of this situation as soon as possible. Unfortunately, it is um our energy is cut off with this timing of the uh, wish cache. So GG for our opponent. Well played by them. A little bit unfortunate that uh, we couldn't keep the uh, Giratina alive. Um, in hindsight, maybe we should have switched out earlier and saved that energy on the Giratina. All right, here we're going to switch out into the Giraffe Rig, hoping that they will switch out as well, but they're running the Confusion Fast move, so they're just applying a ton of fast move pressure. But the Tentacruel did get this uh, Giraffe Rig all the way down into the uh, yellow without, without even really uh, applying much uh, charge move pressure. So we tank the first uh, Psychic Fang, we know that um, they're going to throw another one here, but because we already deep up and Giratina is not that tanky, we're going to have to invest that shield and then we're going to switch out of this situation here. We're going to be met against this Dugong. Dugong um, is going to have to tank that first meter mash, does some good damage considering it's only neutral. Um, they go for the Icy Wind and they decide to switch out into the Big Roth, so Big Roth here it's going to be able to be very spammy. They get to this body slam. We're going to have to shield here um, because we need to do as much damage as we can with this clip able because their our Giratina will have no play. And they realize that their win condition is to keep this Vigoroth alive. And that is going to be GG's, unfortunately. We have no moves that are going to be um, neutral or effective against this Vigoroth. So this is a really hard counter. And our only chance right there was to get the boost. So we were trying to fish for the boost, trying to fish for a second boost right here because they're very close to the rock slide. We do get the boost. Let's see if we survive a rock slide here. And we do survive it, but you can see even with that survive, we're not gonna be able to um, get uh, much more damage towards this uh, big route because it's just hard walls it. So GG to our opponent. Um, yeah, the normal typing onto the Giratina is obviously always terrible. So we are trying to avoid that situation. Um, but unfortunately they just had the uh, the, the Vicaroth uh, in the back. Hang on, we got the Galvantula versus this uh, Giratina. We can survive any move here, so we're gonna let this first one go. Ends up being the Lunge. So Lunge does, um, you know, even though it's resisted once again, does pretty good. We're almost already ha at the halfway health, but we do get a shield, which is um, pretty good. Um, here, we're going to invest this shield here to keep it alive, and then we're gonna throw on good timing here. This Ominous Wind potentially could get the last shield. No, but we do take it out. And then our opponent here is going to have the Carbink. So Carbink is going to be um, pretty pretty um, bad against our entire team, it seems like. So we're just going to chip away at that um, Carbink. And then we're going to switch out into the Tentacruel. They switch out into their Chestnut. Chestnut is not going to do that well against this Tentacruel as uh, we are only taking neutral right there. And then we're going to try to get to this Acid Spray. Ooh, unfortunately didn't get to the Acid Spray. Would have helped with the potential farm against this Carbink. Uh, looks like this Carbink is fully XL. And we're going to have to let the first one go. Ends up being the Moon Blast. We don't um, get a deep up. And all we have to do here is just build up to two meter matches because Carbink is double weak to Steel types. So this is GG's. We know that they only have one shield, one meter mash goes through. No, nope, they get shielded, but we have another one ready. And this meter mash here will take out this carving because of the double weakness. So GG Star opponent able to win that game right there with a clip able. Check out this team if you haven't already and let us know if you enjoyed the video.